Um, Northern Ireland Protocol proves one thing, that Northern Ireland's not really part of the UK. The, the British rule the north of Ireland, but they have no legitimacy. And that's the bottom line. That's where we're at. British sovereignty does not enjoy majority support in the north of Ireland. Unionism every single day is shrinking. The antics that the DUP pulled off today is absolutely music to the ears of United Irelanders. Every day the DUP perform like this, liberal unionists move away from the idea of the union. The bottom line is Northern Ireland doesn't work. It's dysfunctional. What the DUP have done is actually profound. Sinn Féin have come out this afternoon and called for an election. I have no doubt when that election happens, the DUP will lose support. The chances are that Sinn Féin will have a first minister. And where that's going to lead us to eventually, probably sooner rather than later, is a border poll. And we'll find out if the majority really want to be part of the United Kingdom, because I think they don't, contrary to what Arlene's saying. Here's the bottom line. Whether unionists like it or not, things like the Anglo-Irish Agreement, the Good Friday Agreement, it gives a say to a foreign power, as they call it. Not a foreign power to me. It's my nation, the Irish government. They have a role in the running of Northern Ireland, whether unionists like it or not. So you have the Gordian knot of the Anglo-Irish Agreement and the Good Friday Agreement. And the bottom line is the protocol is absolutely not going away. And unionists, if they were pragmatic, would realise that and they would stitch up a deal that suited everyone. By performing the way that they're performing, I guarantee you, young Protestants who might be minded to be unionists, who are liberal inclined, look at the DUP and they turn away in horror. And what's happened is people who were former unionists are moving from unionist in the constitutional question to what you call neither or in-betweeners. And they are there now for the United Islanders to win over. And can I tell you a secret? I'm excited by what's happening because it suits United Islanders like me.